What's good, everybody? This is Lenny TV, man. I'm here with my boy, Kerry Kush. What's going on? No, so with you, bro. All right, man. Who you got with you today? I got my bro, Low K, you feel me? Mm -hmm. ASB, my brother, for me? David Benz, for me, you feel me? Right. You know, I always keep him in the cut for me. All right. We're going to get to the beginning of your story, man. Like, how, how did you start this whole music thing, and then why did you start it? Man, I started this shit ever since I was a young boy. Like, like I, I started rapping with my aunt, man. Like. She really like told me just like try like a rhyme and stuff for me. Mm -hmm. So from there I, I tried it out and I actually was good at it. Just kept on doing that shit, kept on doing that shit. And like it just turned into me freestyling and just writing in my books and shit. Like even as my other bro, he not here at ASB Loat for me, for me mm -hmm. Lotus. For me. I have rap books ever since this grade shit, you feel me? Full filled filled up with like rhymes and shit, you feel me? So like it's just really a passion for me. Yeah. Just from then. Every day you wake up, you just all about music, huh? Yeah, like <laughs> bro, every every day I wake up, I find a beat like on YouTube or something. You feel me? Like, yeah. and then just start freestyling. Like, it's automatic. You feel me? Yeah, so yeah, cause I've been around musicians before. When I see them, right? If I'm like, if they're not doing, if they're not in the studio, or if they're like not doing an interview or something, they're still trying to come up with a song. Like that's the people that got passion. So like, they they like still writing or listen to a beat like, yo, I can rap to this or I can do this to that. Like, that's like, that's the drive. That's, that's somebody that you know that's gonna make it to the top. You know what I'm saying? When you can't stop it, when you like a maniac about the passion you love. So like, are you, can you, do you consider yourself like a maniac about it? I mean, yeah, some sort of type of way. Mm -hmm. yeah. I ain't gonna hold you, cause like, at the end of the day, I feel like I can't stop when it comes to like music. Like, it's not a day I won't like rap a song or anything like that, you feel me? Like. Anything that got to do with music, like every day is, I'm doing something with music, you feel me? Like, so like, I feel like, yeah, in type of way, yeah. Now, when did you know, but when did it click for you, like when um, you knew, like, yeah, hey, I could really do this? Like, did you, did, was it like when a fan said, yo, I love your music, or was it family that said, you, you really got talent? Like, who was it to help you solidify that you really, this is really your thing? I see the bros, you feel me? Like, mm -hmm. ASB shit, right. facts from the gate, like, when I be rapping around them and they just well, put on like a beat. Freestyle. Oh. <laughs> always freestyle. Always freestyle. Yeah, bro. This shit is freestyle. Facts. Facts. <laughs> Facts. Like, bro, I'm trying to tell you, like, every every time I spit a bar, you're like, oh shit, that shit that hot. Shit <laughs> tough, you know, I keep going, bro, and I just <laughs> keep going, and everybody just fuck with that shit. Like, I already knew from the gate, like, yeah, I can take this shit far for me. Mm. And, like, it's not even just dumb. I be having motherfuckers that listen to my shit, and I ain't even know. I don't even know them, you feel me? And they'll fuck with my shit, and I'd be like, yo, like, that gave me motivation to really, like, push that, you feel me? Like, I can actually have somebody feel what I'm saying, you feel me? Have somebody feel my vibes, you feel me? So, like, yeah, like, I know I can do this shit. And what helps you get in your zone now? Is it, like, the studio? Is it, is it uh, when you're live performing? Is it, like, writing? What helps you get in your zone musically? I say, like, really, like, the beats, beats really get me in my zone, like, mm -hmm. I like the way like certain shit sound. So like from the gate, like it was just gave me some type of feeling like I just gotta just go hard on it, you feel me? And it, it just automatically come out. Like I can't even control it, like bro, like that shit just automatic automatically come out because I just automatically feel the beat, you feel me? And like like I don't know, bro, like yeah. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> now who did you do, who did you look up to growing up though when it came to the music? Uh shit. Real, for real, mm -hmm. I really was fucking with DMX on some shit, like, okay. and like really fucking with him, like on some shit, like, <laughs> like I was a young, like, I was a younger and heard that, get it on the floor, get it, get it on the floor, like yeah, that yeah. type shit, and he just, I just saw it like that, you feel me, I was younger and bumping his shit, like, you feel me, and then like, I don't know, like, from then I just listened to other rappers, like, 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 uh, Kendrick Lamar, for mm -hmm. real, for real, Kendrick, at point in time, Wiz Khalifa, Fucking ASAP Rocky, like when I listen to all rappers like that, you feel me, and that type of stuff, you feel me, like I listen to that shit and I be getting vibe from that shit, and I be like, damn, like I can do this shit too, you feel me, like they shit really hard, like I know I can make some hard shit like that too, you feel me, it just like dumb motherfuckers, they really get me to like I listen to that shit, it makes me like, damn, I got it motivates me, you feel me. Like, now recently I've been talking to artists about studying, like the blueprint of how artists come up. And, and I, what I mean by that is, like when we were talking earlier, you were talking about like, you know, not only do we got to put Delaware on the map, but you also want to make it like, 
let's say if you go to New York City to perform somewhere or, or to live to do something or to LA to live somewhere and do something. Um, do you study the blueprint when it comes to people that came up? Like now, a lot of artists I talk to, they said they study Meek Mill because they actually seen him physically elevate. Yeah. Now, they, now do you watch other people? I have other people tell me they watch. Um, you know, uh, what's, what's that young boy's name? A Boogie. They see him and Lil Uzi. They see. They just watch them. Like blow up. And yeah, they shit. watch them blow up or they go back and see how they blew up. Do you uh, do that too? I mean, honestly, like I yeah, I ain't gonna hold you. Sometimes facts like. Recently, I, when I was in Atlanta, cause I went to Atlanta at a point in time, feel me? And I heard about the nigga Playboy Cardi, you feel me? Yo, like, I literally seen him blow up on some shit, bro. Like, <laughs> like on some, like, yo, like, on some shit, like, cause the motherfuckers did not hear about him. That's when I heard motherfuckers start bumping his music and shit. I'm like, oh yeah, everybody catching on to the wave now, you feel me? And like, like, I actually seen him really just, like, go on Jimmy Kimmel from that, you feel me? Like, like, like damn, he really reached another level. You feel me? Like, like I watched him really blow up on some shit. Like, huh? Yeah. Now, in the first step, it seemed like you already doing the first step, right? Which is you're still in the music. You got a passion for it. You got your day ones with you all the time. All the time. Um, you feel me? So, what what do you think is next for you? You know, to to make it like, um, not e even if you don't have to get signed, but just to just to make it big, just to perform on BET or you know, or to make it to the double XL thing. Like, what do you think is next for you? For that whole blueprint, like, how do you think you have to get there? Well, my whole my whole theory is like, I feel like all it takes for is consistency, music, and like visuals. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, motherfuckers want to see what you're doing, where you come from. You feel me? And like, like they want to get a piece of that. You feel me? They want to see some type of form of what what is you? you feel me? They want to see what you are. Mm -hmm. Music. If you're making good music, you feel me? Motherfuckers can't die. Can't deny. You feel me? They can't deny if it's good. It's good. You feel me? You can, you can hate on the low, mm -hmm. but you still gonna be like, okay, that shit's good. You <laughs> yeah, feel me? Yeah, yeah. And then consistency. Like if you keep pushing it, you can't deny it's in your face all the time. So how can you deny it? For me, like music, videos, consistency. That's all it takes for real, for real. So that's what I feel like I have to do. Like I'm gonna have to get the music, show you what I'm doing and keep throwing at you until you get the point like I'm here, you feel me? Mm -hmm. I'm going to be that nigga, you feel me? I'm in face with it. I'm not going nowhere, you feel me? Yeah, because I also talked about, I remember like in the 90s and the early 2000s when artists, they could drop an album and they could wait two to three years and their fans, they will, the fans would wait and they would humbly wait for the album to come out and because they, they had the patience. But now with the era we live in, with social media, so social media doesn't wait for you anymore. It's like, once you drop a mixtape or album, album, they be ready for something else the next day sometimes, or they ready for something else the next week. But um, you know, we have artists nowadays that they gotta drop things out year to year. Like you see Chris Brown, he always got an album or a song every year because yeah. cause he has to, you know what I'm saying? Just to keep the fans up and keep them consistent. Are you gonna be doing the same when it comes to your mixtapes and songs? Like, are you, are you gonna consistently stay in their face with, or just stay in, in the people's face with, with music? Yeah, like, you know, I feel like I got to do, like, on some Gucci shit. Like, <laughs> you know how Gucci, he was yeah, doing it. He making the mixtape every damn week, you feel me? Like, like, and throwing it at you, you feel me? And motherfuckers fucking with that shit. Like, I don't know, I feel like I got to do that. Like, I got to keep giving you this music and keep giving you some visuals and shit, too. Like, you feel me? Like, that's what I got to do, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Facts. And I think I'm going to just do that approach. Just be on some Gucci, man. Shit. I'm going to keep throwing these mixtapes at you. Keep doing these mixtapes, and then you want to be like, okay, I'm ready for this album. You feel me? Now I talked to, um, I know it's a few artists out here in the state of Delaware that do have songs, like on iTunes, title, Google Play, and things like that. Are you? Uh, do you think you're ready for that step, or like, do you think you know how to get there yet when it comes to putting your music on iTunes and stuff? Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely ready for that stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, like as soon as we get that on iTunes, I know like we gonna have a lot of people looking into that, like. Yeah. That's like, that's good for me, you feel me? It's good for my team, you feel me? Like having people that's gonna support us with that. Cause iTunes, you really gonna get paid from iTunes, you feel me? Like, yeah. that's the next step. Like, you're not just having it on SoundCloud. People are just listening to it for fun, you feel me? Yeah. <laughs> you got, you actually getting paid for this now, so you feel me? Like, yeah, like I'm ready, definitely ready for that shit. Yeah. That's what I tell people all the time. Like, even if I don't, if I don't even bang with the artist music, if they from Delaware, 
I'm, and they tell me they got a song on iTunes or something, I'm going to buy it and then promote it because, like, I feel like with this state, that's just how we got to be. Because exactly. you see with a lot of people in different cities, like, let's say Chicago, Philly or something like that, they just support each other hardcore. Like, if somebody dropping something, somebody got a show or something, they're going to go there, they're going to buy that stuff. It's like 100% support it from what, from, my, from what I see as a fan, you know? And I'm like, damn, man. I said, I want that for us, you know, I want, I don't care who the artist is. If they in Delaware and they say, yo, Lenny, I got a track on iTunes, I got this on iTunes. I'm like, I got you, bro. See, that's how <laughs> we really got, feel me? We got to have that mindset, bro. Yeah. Everybody in this state got to have that mindset. Because right now it's like everybody trying to fight for the first place. Like, we can all be first, you feel me? Yeah. We can all be first, you feel me? We can all do this shit, feel me? Like, it don't just gotta be, like, this one person gotta make it. Like, this one motherfucker in particular gotta be the one that's gonna do it. Like, it don't gotta be that we all can eat, man. Like, facts. And, like, everybody can't be scared to, like, support a motherfucker. Like, don't be scared to support a motherfucking music. Like, if you fuck with it, like, and it's good, and you honestly feel like it's good, but you, like, want some shit, like, on some, like, sneak fan shit. Like, like you a fan, but you not really a fan because you not showing love like that, you feel me? Like, we really need motherfuckers like that, you feel me? Like, that's what motherfuckers really got to start doing in Delaware. Because mm -hmm. you see motherfuckers in Atlanta really, like, all coming together. Like, they move like a family down there, you feel me? Like, other states, like, you feel me? Everybody move like a family in other states, you feel me? They help support each other, so, like, you feel me? I feel like we really got to be on some shit. Like, it's us against them, you feel me? Mm -hmm. It's us, like, like, everybody from Delaware, we really got to just put on for this shit, you feel me? We so, over, we, we so overlooked. We, like, underdogs to motherfuckers. Yeah. And, and the support goes a long way. Here's why I say the support goes a long way. I, I really, like, I, I hope, I really do hope, like, even by tomorrow or next week, that all the artists can support each other. Why I say that is because when you do support each other like that, that's when the labels come. Because the labels are all about money. And what I mean by that is, in the 50s, right, they were saying, like, you know, Nashville and Detroit were the music places. Like, they go to Nashville for the, for the rock and roll stars, or they go to Detroit for the Motown stars. And they try to find out, you know, who could they have on the next show and stuff, things like that. Then in the uh, 70s and stuff, they go to L.A. or Texas for that groovy style and everything. And then in the 80s, they go to, to New York for the break dancing and the, and the rapping. And, yeah. the beat, and these big time labels would come down there because they wanted that next star. Same thing with the 90s and stuff. Now, here in Delaware, if, if everybody support each other and, then, and just keep on pushing each other up, elevating each other, these labels going to be like, oh, what, what's going on in Delaware? And exactly. people, want, people go, it's so many rappers and singers in Delaware. Like, it's so many rappers and singers in Delaware. It's a lot. That, it's like, that they're gonna be like, they're gonna be like, this is the the music state. Anybody doing this shit? Yeah. Like, anybody, everybody, yeah. anybody. Everybody, like, everybody, everybody rapping. Like, like, it's a, and it's versatile too. Like, not everybody don't all sound the same. So like, they can't really pinpoint on how they can't really pinpoint how Delaware sounds. Exactly. But with the support, labels will come. They like, what's going on in the state? We need that money. Like, facts. <laughs> You feel me, though? Cause like one thing I know, like I, I'm not even hating on homegirl, but I, I know they they catch me out outside girl. She got signed, and I'm just like, damn, bro. Like even though she got signed up for her negativity and things like that, she got mad supporters. She got mad. She supporters, got mad like, supporters, bro. Bro, you gotta think about it. You got motherfuckers <laughs> hating her, but you feel me? You got motherfuckers loving her and hating her. You feel me? That's all attention. Both sides. That's yeah. all attention. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. you getting paid from all that? You feel me? Like. Come on now, like, either way, you hate it or love it, she's still getting that check. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't be mad at her for me. Mm -hmm. I support that for me. You get in the bag, even though you did disrespect your mom, it's whatever for me. Mm -hmm. That's how she probably was grew up different for me. For me, yeah. that's all it is. <laughs> yeah. and, you know, it's crazy. Like, I know for a fact. I know for a fact. And it's probably even more, but I know for a fact it's like a thousand rappers in Delaware. Now, if those a thousand rappers all retweeted each other's music or reposted each other's music when it came to like just showing love, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, bro! Like, it's just like <laughs> it's, just, it's like it's that easy. Right. It's that easy. <laughs> like, and then and with, with hashtag three hundred two or things like that, they gonna be like, what's going? On? People really gonna be like, what's going on down here? Right. Like that's how you make a wave happen, for real, man. So, but um, but what are you excited about? What you got coming up for the future, man? Well, definitely got a lot of music videos dropping, man. Like, bro, shit, man, got a lot of music videos dropping. Yeah. We're going to have a lot of music coming, too. Like, I'm making another mixtape by my own personal producer, for me? Uh, Frank Lotto, for me? Mm -hmm. Flex Lotto. That, he, he, beats that beats, bro. That really nice, you feel me? 
I'm make a mixtape, but homie, for me, drop that. Y'all gonna love that shit, for me. And like, uh, basically, it's just a lot of growth. You gonna see a lot of growth from it. You gonna see me now, and then later on, you gonna see me flexing on some shit. Everybody in my squad gonna be flexing. Everybody in my squad gonna be eating. Feel me? That's it. And then, um, and like you said, why why you trying to put up Delaware too? Do you think like um, when you when you're traveling and stuff, would you like to go back to Atlanta to get some shows popping off or something like that, or get uh, get some networking experience? Like, what would you like to travel to when it comes to the music? Yeah, I say like Delaware. I said Delaware, Atlanta, mm -hmm. fucking uh, LA. You feel me? Like New York. You feel me? Them three. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like Atlanta. That's like a second home. You feel me? I know they gonna support it. They gonna fuck with it. Yeah. And what's the love? What's the love been like? You know, it's funny. I noticed this too. With, uh, with a lot of your artists, the, the the ladies come on quick when they see y'all doing your thing, like with the music videos and the sound. Like they just they just hop on. So you've been getting a lot of love from the ladies too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jones be fucking with us. Yeah, they be fucking with the music on some shit. Facts. Yeah, yeah. Like shit, it's good music. Can't deny it for me. Mm -hmm. It is what it is for me. But yeah, we got a lot. Of, you got lady supporters for me. Now, where do you record at? You record like, um, like I record a couple places, bro. Like, mm -hmm. I really be fucking with my man Israel for me. Okay, okay, I heard. My you. man Israel, he be doing his thing for me. Uh, shout out Israel on the beat for me. Yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah, for me. Uh, my baby uh, Navit, you feel me? Navit, you feel me? He be, be he he be out play my with it for me. I be going to the studio and shit too. I'm trying to fuck with a couple other motherfuckers too, you feel me? Like Rico and shit, you feel me? A couple other heads, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So I might have start reaching out to more people, you feel me? But right now those are two I'm really fucking with. That's what's up. You got any artists that you um that you wanna work with or collab with soon or are there artists that you dislike out here in Delaware? Um, yeah, I fuck with a, I fuck with SOE and you know, mm -hmm. you feel me? I fuck with my man, it's JB, you know, JB, for me. Shout out, bro. Yeah, shout out, bro, <laughs> JB. And you already know, I fuck with my, uh, you know, my ASB guys, you feel me? That's from the gate, you feel me? Low K, you feel me? My bro, David Benz, you feel me? My bro, uh, Lo Lotus, you feel me? Uh, Double Low, you feel me? Shout out, Double Low, you already know, we're gonna blow from, you feel me? Uh, who else? Uh, 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 fucking. Couple other Couple other motherfuckers. Snoop, you feel me? You already know. Shout out to my baby late night, feel me? Uh, JTB and them. JTB and them, feel me? Uh, oh, yeah. I, I fuck with uh, Mac, too. Mac 302. Okay. Yeah, I fuck yeah. with her shit, too. Yeah, she hard, too. <laughs> I fuck with the young boy, Kyle Fizzle shit, too, a little bit, feel me? This shit all right, feel me? Uh, boy, be mild doing this thing, feel me? Uh, I probably work with him. Ch fuck around, feel me? Uh, I don't know, Buck 50, that nigga doing his thing. Facts, I would I, 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 I do a track with him, you feel me? Uh, a couple other motherfuckers. San Vito, that nigga, all right, you feel me? Who else, you feel me? It's a lot of It's a couple motherfuckers. It's <laughs> yeah. a couple motherfuckers, facts. Yeah, oh, yeah, Asian Mills, uh, oh, JR, you yeah. feel me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, man, I definitely want to thank you for coming on, and I'm gonna uh, hit up my people. Like I said, we're going. I want, like I said, I want this wave to continue yeah. and everything. And I and I know other people that still do interviews and everything. So like, my people, first day stars, my boy Austin, we're gonna keep it popping, man. We're gonna get Delaware rolling. You feel me? Yeah, you already know, man. A whole lot of game shit, man. You already know, that rocking, man. Every shit, man. You know, Lenny TV shit. We fuck with you, bro. You feel me? Facts. Shout out Lenny TV. Shout out Lenny TV, man. You know how you rocking, man. You feel me? I like this music, man.